and hello again YouTube it is uh, Thursday morning January 27th 2022 540 a.m. Well, I survived my first week at Amazon that's a good thing not sure what those guys are doing but oh that is probably somebody's uber all right kind of wild watching all the traffic coming out of here all at once oh and you know every time I hit record I always have something I'm thinking about talking about <laughs> about this far into this shit is when I forget about it anyway please don't hit me please don't hit me so far I'm I've only seen one other Amazon employee walk this direction. I was kind of stoked on the on the bus right here, running into somebody else that obviously worked here. And I was, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed when I, uh, okay, I'm not walking on the sidewalk because I'm tired of hitting those damn tree branches. Um, I was a little bit disappointed when I told him it was quicker to walk down 79th then to walk down 83rd and then we got towards 79th like no I'll just take my regular route I'm like well okay all right hopefully he made it on time because uh <coughs> oh that route seven oh man when I cough my back hurts uh, that route 17 was running pretty damn late so uh all in all, I'm really liking it here. And so many things that I've heard for years online about how god-awful it is to work for Amazon. And, oh, God, they, they uh, treat you like a number, treat you like a machine. To, to be honest, I, um, I've had a lot of shitty jobs in my life. And... I'm uh, liking this more than a lot of them. In fact, I've worked for radio stations where I didn't feel as valued as I feel here. So, that's something. This area always kind of trips me out. In a combination of trucks sitting waiting People that look like they're homeless, living in uh, living in vans and RVs. I did see something kind of interesting today. Um, sometimes when I'm riding the bus, and I don't know if I've mentioned this or not on my vlogs. I don't think I have. Sometimes when I'm riding the bus, it's kind of difficult to see exactly where I am, or or to to see something out the window that tells me where I'm where I am. It's very difficult to see street signs from inside a city bus, especially at night. Uh, most of the buses have their interior lights on, kind of bright. And looking out the windows, I, I can't really see what's going, you know, where I am outside unless there's some large lit up landmarks. Instead, I'm just seeing my own reflection, the reflection of everybody else inside the bus. And something I do, Occasionally, just to try to figure out where the hell I am is I'll pop open Google Maps and look at the GPS. It's like, oh, I'm there. And yeah, I think somebody's definitely living in that RV, by the way. Uh, it's the second time I've walked by that one at this time of the morning. I can hear, a, hear what sounds like a generator running in the back of it. I guess if you're gonna gonna be homeless, live in style, right? Um, anyway, <clears throat> anyway, as I was on my way over today, I was looking. I think it was today. Might have been yesterday. Um, I was I was looking at uh, Google Maps to try to get a feeling of where it was in. 
And for some reason, I scrolled over to the map, more or less exactly where I am here. And then I clicked on the Amazon warehouse that I worked at and was kind of surprised to see Google reviews come up for it. Which, I don't know, you know, when I, when I look for reviews, like I'm generally expecting reviews of like a retail business or a restaurant or a bar. I look at stuff like that all the time. It never occurred to me that there would be Google reviews. Hope y'all can hear me. It's so loud crossing the freeway here. Um, it never occurred to me that there would be Google reviews for a warehouse. But uh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> An insanely large amount of them. And it was uh, 